Alrighty guys, what's going on? Drone worship in your face. Uh, someone asked me, is it possible to do waypoints with the Bebop? And the answer to that is yes. I'm going to show you that today. I haven't quite gotten the entire app figured out. AR Pro 3 is a very good app for $9.99. Way more advanced than Flight Pro. And I believe if you want why, uh, uh, why the ability to do waypoint missions with Flight Pro, it costs $20. It is cheaper to buy this app and get everything 10 times better than it is to operate on Flight Pro and purchase their waypoint system in the Flight Pro app for Parrot. So let's just say that AR Pro is top dog for operating all Parrot products that are the larger class, Disco, uh, Bebop 2, uh, Parrot Bebop. Um, I am using this with the current uh, Bebop 1 and, you know, I, I Gadget Man 404 just got a hold of me and was like, hey, is it possible to do waypoints? I'm going to show you that today. This is the AR Pro 3 app for $9.99. I'm going to click on the map up here at the top and I'm going to show you something crazy here. It's going to find my position. And as you can see, I've already saved a mission. Okay, I've already been having fun, but I wanted to show you how I can set all this up. So as you can see right now, I've got 16 waypoints. My estimated flight time is 1 minute and 53 seconds already. So I'm going to go ahead and tap right here, and I am going to set another waypoint. Okay, so there you go. I'm going to tap over here now. We'll go back to our starting point right here. I am going to do a point of interest. So we'll click on POI, and then... Uh, you can see that it says altitude, 3 meters. You'll definitely want to make that adjustment uh, to how high you want to be. Obviously, you want to be probably closer to 40 meters because the rest of my waypoints are at 40. Remember, guys, if you make a mistake, okay, during setting this up, one little mistake will be the end of your drone, okay? It will be the difference of whether it smashes into a tree or not. So make sure you are looking over this very closely and understanding the specifics of what you're doing for your waypoints. Okay, so I'm going to hit OK. We want all my other waypoints are at 40. So we're going to keep this at 40. I'm going to come down here to orbit here. And then I can choose my number of orbits, how many times I want it to go around in a circle. As you can see, it's set right now currently for one orbit. Okay, um, initial, all these are at one meter, final one meter. You want to set all of these at, at, at uh, let's see here. Okay, that was way too much. I want to come back to that 40 meter radius again. Let's bring this back to the 40 mark. 40 might be a bit extreme, but it's all good. Okay. Anyways, you, you, you understand what's going on here. So just make sure that when you're setting these up here, guys, initial, initial, final. So <clears throat> make sure that while you're setting this up, you make all of your calculations ahead of time and make sure you haven't missed any options. Make sure you're sliding all the way down. You really don't want to cause yourself a problem. So anyways, we're going to clear the map, start over from scratch here. So, all right. So anyways, this is what you guys are going to have real quick. We'll just set up a bunch of waypoints. Click here, waypoint eight meters at altitude of 40. Okay. So if it's your last waypoint, it'll just wait here. You can specify an action if you want to like land or take off or whatever you really need to do. So, I mean, you can go fairly in depth with this, but let's go ahead and, okay. I'll hit okay. I'll set another waypoint over here one more time. We'll do another point of interest. Okay, I want it at 40. And then, like I said, you'll have to go through and orbit here. You'll have to make all your adjustments. We'll tap for two orbits. We'll do a, a, a radius of, let's see, starting radius. I think you could probably just set them all at 40 if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. That's a very big uh, point of interest. So just throw all these back to 40. Ah, we'll just leave it there. That's fine. Like I said, it is very simple. You guys get the understanding of how this works. So I hit OK. 
So now you can see the size of that uh, that mission starting with one. You see what I'm saying? So it'll spiral in towards the last one. So you can make some really wide ones. You can make some small ones. It's, it's really up to what you guys want to do. That is a massive point of interest. The estimated flight time for that is uh, 2 minutes and 46 seconds. It will continue to start off in a spiral and slowly work its way into its final point. And, uh, but pay attention to the numbers here. 40 meters to 1 meter. That's not going to fly. It will be smashing into things. So it's going from 40 meters high to 1 meter high. And the entire orbit radius is at 1 meter. And then the last final ending point is at 40 meters. So do you see what I'm saying here? This was what I was trying to be specific about, guys. Pay attention to your numbers because this would cause an accident. The the waypoint that I or the point of interest that I've made right now would cause a massive accident. You would lose your drone. So it all comes back to just paying attention. Pay attention to what you're doing when you're setting this up. Okay. If you make one fatal flaw and you don't set something correctly, you will be in a world of hurt because you won't have a bebop anymore. And hopefully you haven't damaged something or hurt somebody's property. So anyways, guys, I just want to show you that I haven't quite finished this up. I'm still trying to figure out uh, everything about this app before I even come close to deciding to use it. Um, I do understand how the waypoints work. The points of interest, uh, however, are a bit more complicated. And I want to really get a rounding off on, on how I feel about it. And, and, you know, the more I play with it, the more I learn about how this waypoint system works. So, But if you're wondering... Yes, it can do it, okay? I will do a waypoint mission at some point to show you guys how that works. And uh, anyways, I'm going to start getting ready here for work, guys, and I will catch you on the flip, man. Drone worship, and I'm out. Toodaroo.